Your brain is lying to you. When you see Optimus stumble or G1 throw a spinning kick, you instantly pick a favorite, but you're wrong. Today, we expose the surprising truths behind their design, purpose, and future, and what they mean for you. In this video, you'll discover why Optimus's AI brain may not be as autonomous as it looks, the surprising limitation in G1's $16,000 frame, which robot could actually replace your job first? This isn't another comparison. It's a wake-up call about the future happening right now. Let's go. The staggering price difference between these robots tells us everything about their intended futures. Tesla's Optimus enters the arena as a premium industrial solution, with estimated costs ranging between $20,000 to $30,000 though insiders suggest final pricing may climb significantly higher. This isn't another typical gadget. It's Tesla's vision for the future of labor, designed specifically for factory environments, home assistance, and integration into Tesla's own manufacturing ecosystem. What you're paying for here is the same neural network magic that powers Tesla's full self-driving technology, repurposed to navigate physical spaces instead of roads. While the promise is revolutionary, availability remains on the horizon with a late 2025 target. Unitree's pricing structure tells a more complex story. The base G1 model starts at $16,000, already revolutionary for humanoid robotics. But the company offers a tiered system. G1 standard is $16,000. G1 Pro is $35,000 with enhanced sensors. G1 EDU Ultimate CU5 is $67,000 with full package. The tech world took notice when streamer Kai Xenat acquired the flagship G1 EDU Ultimate CU5, the most advanced iteration currently available. Unlike Optimus's corporate ambitions, the G1 was built for immediate impact in research labs, entertainment venues, and viral content creation. Its secret lies in Unitree's open development approach, combining NVIDIA's Auron AI platform with modular hardware that invites experimentation. While Tesla keeps Optimus under wraps, the G1 is shipping today to anyone with the budget and vision to push its limits. This accessibility makes the G1 a democratic force in robotics, putting cutting-edge technology within reach of universities and indie developers alike. Stand these robots side by side and their philosophical differences become physically apparent. The Optimus towers at 5 feet 8 inches with a substantial 125 pound frame that screams industrial utility. Every aspect of its design prioritizes durability and payload capacity, with confirmed lifting capabilities exceeding 11 kilos and rumored potential reaching twice that. Its crowning achievement lies in those remarkable hands, 22 degrees of freedom per hand, bringing it startlingly close to human dexterity. This is a machine built to work, with the structural integrity to handle repetitive tasks in demanding environments without fatigue. The G1 takes the opposite approach, standing a full foot shorter at 4 feet 2 inches and weighing just 77 pounds, nearly half of Optimus's mass. This lightweight construction isn't a compromise but a deliberate strategy enabling the acrobatic feats that have made it famous. Where Optimus favors brute strength, the G1 achieves its magic through optimized weight distribution and rapid servo response. The standard seven DOF hands may seem basic compared to Tesla's offering, but the optional three-finger upgrade reveals Unitree's focus on customizable functionality over raw specifications. This design philosophy transforms the G1 into a platform for innovation rather than a fixed solution, inviting users to push boundaries rather than follow predetermined workflows. The contrast couldn't be more striking. Optimus embodies the traditional robotics approach, bigger, stronger, built for defined industrial purposes. The G1 represents the new wave, agile, adaptable, and most importantly, accessible. The movement capabilities of these robots showcase fundamentally different approaches to robotic locomotion. Tesla's Optimus demonstrates remarkable fluid motion in its latest demonstrations, 
performing household chores with surprising grace, not to mention the viral dance video shared by Elon Musk. Trained through reinforcement learning and simulation, Optimus pulls off complex choreography with surprising balance and coordination. The humanoid robot smoothly transitions between tasks like sweeping floors, vacuuming, and even delicate operations like tearing paper towels, all while maintaining perfect balance. What makes this impressive is the natural cadence of its movements, particularly when handling objects. Watching Optimus stir a pot or carefully place a Model X4 link on a dolly reveals movement precision that blurs the line between robotic and human motion. The dynamic balance system allows it to recover from slips and stumbles with human-like reflexes, suggesting Tesla's work on automotive stability systems translates well to bipedal motion. Unitree's G1 takes mobility in a completely different direction, prioritizing explosive athleticism over practical choreography. Its ability to execute a perfect kip-up from a prone position represents a world-first achievement for humanoid robots at any price point. The G1 doesn't just perform pre-programmed flips, it adapts its movements in real time, recovering from bad landings and adjusting mid-maneuver. Last boxing demonstrations showcase unprecedented reactive mobility, with the robot demonstrating defensive footwork, rapid pivots, and recovery from simulated strikes. The G1's martial arts capabilities, including seven 20-degree spin kicks and complex kung fu sequences, push the boundaries of what we thought possible from such an affordable platform. While Optimus moves with methodical purpose, the G1 operates with the daring athleticism of a professional stunt performer. The artificial intelligence powering these robots reveals their divergent development philosophies. Tesla's Optimus represents a breakthrough in machine learning applications for robotics. Its entire operational framework runs on a single neural network trained using first-person human demonstration videos. This approach allows Optimus to learn new skills rapidly by observing human behavior, similar to how Tesla's full self-driving system learns from driver data. The system's ability to generalize from video input to physical execution, whether folding laundry or operating kitchen appliances, suggests a level of cognitive flexibility rarely seen in robotics. The team's next goal? Teaching Optimus through everyday third-person YouTube clips. This eliminates the scalability limits of older teleoperation methods, enabling the robot to learn faster than ever. The result? A voice command like, Hey Optimus, vacuum, now activates a series of learned behaviors, powered by a unified neural network that gets smarter with every video it processes. Unitree's G1 takes a more conventional but still impressive approach to artificial intelligence. Powered by NVIDIA's Orin platform, it delivers substantial computing power for research and development applications. The robot's environmental awareness comes from a combination of LiDAR and depth cameras, providing robust spatial mapping for navigation and interaction. However, unlike Optimus's learning-based system, the G1 primarily operates through pre-programmed routines and motion sequences. This doesn't diminish its technical achievements, the real-time balance calculations enabling its acrobatics represent cutting-edge control algorithms. But the G1 currently lacks the self-improving, learning capabilities of its Tesla counterpart. Unitree's open architecture leaves room for future AI upgrades. But for now, it remains an extraordinarily capable platform for executing predefined behaviors rather than developing new ones autonomously. Power management tells the real story behind these robots' capabilities. The Tesla Optimus packs a serious punch with its 2.3 kilowatt battery system. Enough juice for 8 to 12 hours of typical operation. That's a full workday of walking, light tasks, or home assistance without breaking stride. The numbers break down impressively. Just 100 watts at idle, 500 watts while walking, translating to nearly 5 hours of continuous motion. But here's the game changer. The Gen 3 model introduces swappable 4,680 cells that could push daily operation to 20 hours. Imagine this. Optimus autonomously docks at charging stations between tasks, keeping itself powered up without human intervention. 
That's industrial grade endurance, perfect for factories or all day home assistants. The Unitree G1 takes a different approach, trading runtime for agility. Its two hour battery life reflects its design philosophy, built for intense bursts of acrobatics rather than marathon sessions. The removable battery allows quick swaps to keep demonstrations going, but you'll be changing packs frequently. While it can't match Optimus's staying power, the G1's cooling system ensures stable performance during those spectacular flips and kicks that define its capabilities. This isn't a limitation so much as a design choice. You wouldn't expect an Olympic gymnast to have the same endurance as a construction worker. The G1 excels in short, high energy performances where Optimus dominates the long haul. And now let's get down to the real question, who wins? This showdown reveals two competing visions for robotics dominance. China's Unitree G1 represents the Eastern approach, pragmatic, affordable, and shipping today. It's a testament to China's manufacturing prowess, delivering jaw-dropping acrobatics at consumer-friendly prices. But make no mistake, this is a brilliant specialist, optimized for viral moments and lab demonstrations. Elon Musk's Optimus embodies Western moonshot thinking, the kind of ambitious, system-redefining project only a mad genius would attempt. It's not just building a robot, it's creating a new category of artificial labor. While still in development, Optimus points towards something far more disruptive, general purpose robots that could reshape entire industries. The G1 wins today's battle with its ready now capabilities and unbeatable price. But Optimus might win the war if Musk can deliver on his vision of truly intelligent all day workers. One thing's certain, this rivalry will accelerate robotics faster than any single company could alone. The future doesn't feel so distant anymore. It's being built on two fronts with very different philosophies. So was your instinct right or did the truth surprise you? Optimus may look clumsy and G1 may seem flashy, but beneath the metal lies a deeper game, trust, control, and the race to automate you. Which one felt more real to you after everything you've seen? Drop your pick in the comments and hit subscribe because next time we go even deeper into the machines reshaping your world.